<laughs> what's going on youtube you know who it is it's your boy shrek and we're back with another video oh did i just show hopefully i have a video for that one before anyways so we did a little some purchases at the local harbor freight let me show you guys what we got <clears throat> so i got all this for just under 200 dollars actually or just about 200 dollars So it was $205. <clears throat> this is on sale at the moment for $135. And this I believe was $35 as well. Ended up getting a little storage case for like the bolts from work. Bolts, nuts, all that extra stuff. I ended up picking up some gloves. A small welding hammer. Or the welding chipper. A wire brush. So I ended up picking up this brush just to be able to brush my area like at work and around the shop and stuff. So all this for $200. What I'm going to do right now is assemble this cart, see how hard it is. And then that way I can have this welder on top. <laughs> Use it on small projects here around the house and stuff. I went ahead and ordered a welding helmet and some flux core wire off of Amazon actually. So right away, I found a good deal on a helmet. It was like 35 bucks, $35, something like that. And then I also got a pretty good deal, I think on three rolls of flux core wire for I think it was like $20. All in all, it came under $60 for both things. So I think that was pretty good. Anyways, let's get to assembling this little welding cart. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So, as you can tell, we went ahead and finished up this little cart. Took me, I wanna say about 20 minutes, 15, 20 minutes to finish it up. I still have to do the little hooks. It has the little, these little hooks. Let me show you guys. It has these little hooks on the sides. I believe it's to hold on to your wires. As you can tell, sorry for the lighting. As you can tell, it does have wire. So let me finish this up, wrap it up, tighten it up. And then we will unbox the actual welder, actually. The flux core welder. Show you guys the little setup. This isn't like a professional grade or anything like that. But this is what we're going to be using. Just to do, like I said, a couple little projects here around the house. Maybe fix up. I have a trailer, a small trailer over here. Maybe fix that up. I want to put possibly a 
maybe a compressor on it that way that could be like my tire tire changing trailer and then when i get my little truck just attach it and go i also have another big trailer and another bigger trailer so first things first i do want to do a welding table i've been seeing a couple of examples online so that's going to be our first project but let me finish this up because i am running out of memory card and i'll show you guys right now when we start unboxing the welder all right so the cart's all assembled all tightened up it does come with some chains on it actually pretty sturdy i've never had a welding cart or a welder period here at my house but all in all it's pretty sturdy nice big wheels has casters in the front to turn then it does come with chains for your gas tanks you put your welder up here well the brush my gloves the chipper i think some of the wire if not the wire will be on the bottom and my helmet will be at the bottom so that's how i'm gonna set this up but let's go ahead and unbox this welder let me put you guys right here on top of the cart just to show you guys hopefully the lighting isn't too horrible i am doing this outside and it's already pretty late is it just me or are the days going by really fast lately i barely got out of work and sorry time to go to sleep man all right so comes with a couple of instruction manuals it comes with some tips and i forgot what the name of this is point three hmm forgot the name of it contact tip there it is contact tip and a couple of nozzles so that comes there and here is the main star of this show not sure if you guys could notice my excitement but i'm really excited to own this i've been wanting one just never really came around to buy it but i saw it for 135 bucks i said i'm picking it up and this is what it comes with this is all it is a strap i guess so you could carry it around and then you have your what is this called so i guess this is a spool plate and spindle this is where your wire goes this is the same one we have at the shop that I've used to weld on two big rigs, like the small stuff that we do on the bumpers. I am trying to get a TIG. I want to get into TIG welding, but I want to get better at my whole flux or MIG welding first before I go onto TIG. But hopefully within, by the end of the year, I'll be in TIG already, TIG welding or dowsing in it. So there's a good start. I will be putting my TIG welder on this as well, I believe. And then just having this as a field, small field welder for small repairs. I do want to get a generator. They have the 3,500 watt generator right now on sale as well for like $600, $650, I believe, which I am contemplating on picking it up this weekend. That way I could weld on the field, like I said. Hopefully I could power it. I do have a small generator, but I know it ain't gonna power. It's like a 2000 watt generator. Anyways, that's pretty much it, guys. Let me go ahead and put it on top of the cart. Goes like that. This will go right here along with this nice little trigger i think this one's better than the one we have it's a lot smoother that's for sure it does come with two nozzles or two what do we call them contact tips so it comes with the spare one and two nozzles as well and then the contact tip that's already installed doesn't come with wire though so don't forget to pick some up like i said i ordered some on amazon and i did also order my helmet on amazon but all in all this is it guys this is our little welder pickup little welder setup for now like i said i will be 
doing our welding table first project and then we'll see what else we get into but yeah that's gonna be it for this video guys i'm gonna try to post this up by tomorrow morning so i'll go go ahead right now and go edit it that way i can post it up for tomorrow morning because the cell if you so if you are a, a insider insider club member the cell for you guys ends tomorrow you guys get early access to this and then for the general public it starts friday saturday and it will continue till sunday so hopefully this reaches someone in time that way they could go pick it up like i said 200 dollars got me a brush another brush well a wire brush for my welds and stuff put that there my chipper put that in there some basic gloves i will upgrade those as well later on oh it got me the cart the welder this brush just to clean out my areas at work and at the shop carry it in my car and then just a small storage bin like five dollars for this six dollars two hundred dollars got me this like i said the helmet and three rolls of flux core wire ran me just under sixty dollars so all in all my whole welding setup is going to run me less than 250 dollars if i'm taking off or less than 260 counting the storage box so with that being said guys don't forget to like comment share subscribe if you're at home enjoy time with your family if you're on the road be safe thank you guys for the support so far catch you guys on the next one peace